Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more Ruby. This is the volume one soundtrack and I'm actually a few episodes into volume five, but I figured, hey, let's watch the original soundtracks for the first four volumes first and then air those first and then get to volume five. So yeah, uh, excited to check this out. I probably won't be pausing to talk too much about it because it'll kill my throat. Uh, I might not talk too much about it afterwards either because I'll just forget everything that happened already. But uh, yeah, looking forward to learning more about these characters. I hear there's a lot of character development in them. So let's start with volume one. <laughs> This will be the da 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 da. Okay. They see you oh. as small and helpless. They see you as just a child. Surprise when they find out that a warrior will soon run wild. Prepare for your greatest moments. Prepare for your finest hour. The dream that you find. The shell looks so different now. Oh, baby John. Cheer up! Oh. Uh. Mm. It's the full song for the first time. Nope, we're not done yet. I do. I'm watching this on a video that just has all of the songs on the Volume 1 soundtrack together. Instead of pressing next every time. I'm definitely going to go back, once I catch up, I'm going to go back and just binge the whole thing. Because there's a lot I've forgotten, I'm sure. This could be the day we open up the door. Then the revolution. revolution. Such a good song. I missed it. I remember this too. Is this is a harp. It doesn't sound. It's a plucking string instrument, but it sounds like it could be a harp, but it could be a. Guzong, or I don't even know what it's called. Forget the context of the song. Oh. Huh. Burns gold.
me up that volume a little bit. Actually, is it just the guitar? No. This sounds like it could be, I don't I used to be much better at recognizing instruments and stuff like that, but uh, I don't know, it just took a lot of time off of analyzing music, listening to music. I'm talking like when I was a teenager. No, before when I was a teenager. We had a music program in, ooh, this is good. Uh, we had a music program in elementary school where we would practice like identifying different parts of music, identifying instruments and things like that. And I was good at it. Not so much anymore, I don't feel. Maybe this will serve as a reminder for me for what happened in the first few volumes, too. Is this a song that Weiss was singing? I don't remember. Weiss is the loneliest? Aww. Never really thought about it, but they put a lot of effort into the soundtrack of this series. It's part of what makes it so good. Even back when people were complaining about the animation not being top-notch, the music was already really great. I see. Friend soon, wise. With the context of her relationship with her father and her brother, and the fact that her sister is gone, this, uh, yeah, there's added weight to this, I think. A Blake song. It's interesting because I don't think we've we've heard most of these songs. I think um, throughout the series, but not 
always with these lyrics. And yeah, some of these lyrics just... So they wrote a lot of music that just, wow, they just didn't use. But adds a lot of uh, context to everything. Her arm looks very thin here. Extremely thin. Like, sickly thin. Maybe the animators got better with time and, like... Because that looks, I don't know, that looks like just skin and bone. And she is pretty skinny, but, like, not, like, that skinny, I think. Is this the train battle? With Adam. Do I have enough water? Nope, I have none left. This is going to be rough to sit through as I talk, continue talking. goal. That's not your past methods. something with subjugation. I was like, how do you do that? Uh, ruthless, not worthless. I actually thought it would have been nice if they tied in revolution there, like, from the first song. All we want is a revolution. Like, yeah, that would have been really cool. Tying the two songs together. I can't sing it now because I have this music playing at the same time. I think you guys know what I mean, though. I'm a really big fan of, uh, songs throughout a, beat, uh, throughout a soundtrack, maybe using similar uh, moments in earlier songs in the later songs. It's just it t tying everything thematically together, it's really, really uh, adds to the feel of a soundtrack and of whatever work of fiction you're watching or nonfiction. Like Hamilton. <laughs> Close my eyes for a bit. Hmm. Ah, Yang in the club. Look at that little crooked smile. Yang is one of my favorites. <laughs> Oh, I think I remember being stricken by this song the first time too. When you hear the first hear the 
the choral, the chorus, not the chorus, the, the vocals. Notice there's a flame on her buff crest, the clothing. I never noticed that before somehow. Oh, we're working all these songs together. scratch. Ruthless. Every time I see her little smile this year, it makes me smile. I'm just getting lost in the music and then I open my eyes and I'm like, that smile. <laughs>
All right. I'm trying to place this song, but I'm not sure. Based on the picture, it might be them arriving at Beacon for the first time? They added a lot of color to their faces in maybe starting in volume four. Flame on her undershirt, just I somehow never saw it. <laughs> just supposed to represent the fire burning within. Not too much to analyze here, just listen and have a good time. I wouldn't say this is the best song out of them, but it, I, I think it might be the most feel-good out of all of them.
<laughs> Super Saiyan now. I think we've been joking about her being Super Saiyan for, since Volume 1. Does that mean that Dragon Ball Z canonically is in the Ruby Universe? Exists in the Ruby Universe? Some people it'll, it'll work. For me, it's a little cringe. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I like the song a lot in general. Just that rap section was like, Ugh. no offense, whoever whoever was rapping it. I mean, I think the music is well written. Like some of some of the the lyrics are a little questionable. Like a fever, I will take you down. Like, uh, but still enjoyable. the softer and then gets loud right there. <laughs> 
That's a jam. <laughs> I might listen to some of this on my own, just in the background whenever I'm doing stuff. Stand another minute. Couldn't bear another day without you in it. All of the joy that I had known for all my life was stripped away from me the minute that you died. To have you in my life was all I ever wanted. But now without you, I'm a soul forever haunted. Can't help but feel this, that I had taken I mean, based granted. on the picture, it's about her mother. We really don't know her story that much, do we? singing back to Ruby. I was surprised that is, I was like, oh, the song's over. Oh, I read like, like, uh, boo, sadness. Sun was in volume one, kind of forgot about that. I don't remember. I remember him fighting against Cinder. I don't. I, I go back and binge a lot of this. <sighs> One life 
is not a long time when you're waiting for a small sign. Patience. It's hard to find Shadows I promise I'm not sleeping, I'm enjoying the music. Seem to fill your life. Hmm. Don't be disappointed. Don't let your heart break don't spend another minute in this way it's okay is a long night when you're so I, was, I thought I was about to say straight. I was like, what? One more day. <laughs> Love that. Love that little moment. Strum all the strings. I think that's it. Is it it? <laughs> All right. That was fun. Uh, some really, really good songs in there. Um, the music writing is really, really good. I do question some of the lyrics, especially that rap. That rap, I will never... Ugh, I don't want to listen to that rap again, but 
I really enjoyed the song overall, that song overall. Um, and yeah, there are, there's a decent variety. There's like, um, of song or different emotions that come when you listen to these songs. It'll be interesting to see if any of these musical motifs show up again in later seasons, later volumes. I keep saying seasons cause that's the language we use for TV shows typically, but yeah, uh, didn't want to keep this going too long though. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, really helps with the channel. Uh, I probably won't, I'll probably release volume one, two, three, four OSTs all at once. Uh, not all at once, like one week after the other, but I probably will watch parts of season five in between them on my own. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, next week with more. We're one week ahead of on Patreon. So volume two is up there already. Bye friends.